guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through this cranberry burgundy halo eye kind of tutorial. It's got a really beautiful pop of champagne shimmer in the middle of the lid and I think it's absolutely beautiful and would work on many eye shapes. Um, if you'd like to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. So I've already done my foundation and some of my base products off camera. I've already done bronzer and blush, just really simple, nothing in particular that's special. Um, with my foundation I made sure it was really high coverage because I don't want any redness peeking through. Um, and I made sure that my under eyes and everything was really concealed and very matte. Um, just because I want the focus to be really on the eyes um, and for the skin to just be like flawless and in the background. Um, with my brows I made sure for them to be really bold and really like dark because I want this eye makeup look to be darker I felt like going for a darker and more intense and more like shaped brow would complement the darker eye look better um, and now I'm gonna go straight into priming my eyes I'm gonna prime my eyes with this Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer and it just looks like this it's a stick concealer and it's just in the shade um, 10 Ivory and it just looks like that I mean, it's supposed to be for acne but I never ended up using it for acne and now I don't really have as many um, blemishes as I used to so now I just use it as like a creamy like eye primer so I'm just gonna go over my eyes with that I'm just gonna blend that out I just want something really sticky so that my matte um, shadows that I apply later really stick to my eyes this is just my favorite concealer brush from Real Techniques sorry I have some brow products on my hand um, and I'm just going to blend that over the entire lid And now I'm just going to repeat that on the other side, blending that out. Everywhere that I want eyeshadow to stick to my eye, I'm going to try and make sure that it's like kind of sticky with this concealer as my eye primer. So I'm just blending that all the way up. And obviously it's going to be more intense towards the lash line end of my eye and less intensely packed on at the brow bone end so that more eyeshadow sticks down here and less ends up sticking up there. There we go. Next I'm going to be going in with my BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. This is the old edition, so the new edition has a couple more extra pink shades, but I don't mind that I have the old edition. It's just a really great rainbow palette and it's very affordable. I'm going to be going in with this red shade here. It's kind of um, a darker red. And by the way, with all of the eyeshadows I use, you don't really have to use the particular palette that I use. You can always use anything that you have that's a similar colour or a similar vibe. Um, so don't ever feel like you have to go out and purchase something just because someone used it on YouTube. You know, this is my personal collection and the palettes that I enjoy using and recommend. But you don't have to go for the exact same palettes as me if you have something similar or like it does the job. I'm just packing on that whole red shadow all over the eye. And this doesn't have to be perfect. This is just so that our whole eye has a kind of red undertone. So it doesn't become too ashy or grey undertones when it blends out. Oh, by the way, I'm using my favourite Real Techniques brush. I think it's some sort of shading brush. It just looks like this. I love this brush. I have it in a couple of different um, collections. Like, you know how Real Techniques does different collections with the same um, brush, just different ferrules? I have this in a couple of different um, styles, but I love it. So that's all the blend that I'm going to do. Now that I've placed that red shadow all over the eye, I kind of look kind of crazy. So I'm going to be taking my Duo Fiber Eye Brush from Real Techniques, and of course it is dirty, and I'm just going to be blending it out a little bit better. Still doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm going to go in for a big blend at the end. I'm just going to take a little bit more on this eye, because I feel like this one has a little bit more product on it, and I want it to be a little bit more even. Although it doesn't matter too much, because this is going to be underneath some other shadows in a little bit anyway. It's not the biggest deal. Okay, so that's our base of red done. The next palette I'm going to be going into is the Too Faced Cosmetics Chocolate Bar Palette. This is the original chocolate bar they came out with, and the colours just look like this. And I'm going to be going in with this shade here, which is called Cherry Cordial. I'm going to be using this flat kind of shading brush from Real Techniques again, and just packing that mostly on the outer and a little bit on the inner parts of the eye, in the crease. Even though um, I put down that red underneath, I want this to be the primary colour of the eyes. And because we're doing like a halo eye, 
I kind of I'm trying to make it a bit more circular usually when I do eye makeup I want it to be that way because I really like a cat eye effect but with a halo eye I'm trying to do a little bit more of a circular shape even though it's not really my personal type um, it just ends up looking good in the end so I need to trust the process Okay, so now that I've placed those shades, I'm going to go in with that same duo fiber blending brush that I used earlier and just going to smooth out the edges a little bit better. Next colour I'm going to be going into is this shade just at the very top. It's called Triple Fudge and it's just a really, really dark chocolatey brown, um, but you can just use any type of brown eyeshadow that you have. And again, I'm just going to be using the same brush as I used earlier on the cranberry kind of shade. Um, and I'm just going to use that for the dark brown. I'm going to use the edge of the brush and just take a little bit because this is going to be the deepest shade I go for. I'm just going to be very gentle with it and build it up eventually. I'm taking it first in the outer corner and then I'll gradually put a little bit in the inner corner and then connect the two creases. Now that I've placed the darkest shade we're going to be using, I'm just going to go in with that same duo fiber blending brush and smooth out the edges again. Now I'm going to be taking a little bit underneath the lower lash line. I'm not usually a fan of going under the lower lash line because I really like a naked lower lash line, but for this look I really do think that it adds to look and it evens out that really heavy top. Otherwise, we're looking really, like, crazily one-sided on the eyes. So to do the lower lash line, I'm just going to be going in with this eyeshadow smudge brush from Real Techniques again. And I'm going to be replicating the look that we did on top and mirroring it right on the bottom. So first of all, I'm going to go in again with that red shade here from the BH Cosmetics um, Take Me to Brazil palette. And I'm just going to smudge that right under the lash line. And I'm just going to be taking this right to underneath my pupil and stopping right there. So that's all the amount of the red shade I'm going to do. Next I'm going to be going in with the Cherry Cordial shade from the Too Faced Cosmetics palette, just this one here. With this one I'm going to try and take it a little bit shorter um, and make it the smudge a little bit slimmer than the smudge I did for the red. I also blend it kind of, smudging it into the eyeshadow out here so that the eye looks like one cohesive look. And the last shade I'm going to be going in with is Triple Fudge, also from that palette. So that's the really dark shade we used earlier, just the dark brown. And I'm just going to be taking that in the very, very outer corner, because the lower lash line is already very dark. So I'm just going to take that just out there, maybe in the last quarter of the eye. So that is all of our dark shades down. Now is for the kind of exciting bit. This is the Desi and Katie um, The Girls palette. And it's from their first collaboration they did with Dose of Colours. This is my Holy Grail palette. As you can see, I've used it to death. It's probably my favourite palette that I own. I'm just going to be using this really light shade at the top called Suze. And I'm going to be wetting my brush with a little bit of setting spray. And packing that over the top of my lid for a little bit of halo action. The brush I'm going to be using is the Real Techniques Shading Brush. And I'm just going to grab it, now damp from that setting powder, and dip it straight in. These shadows work best when wet, so... That's why I wet them. And as you can see, they are beautiful. This colour is like a perfect goldy champagne -y colour. I'm just going to focus that particularly in the centre of the eye. I don't want to make it too far in any direction because we're trying to make this eyeshadow look kind of circular, like a halo kind of look. And I'm just repeating the same thing on the other eye. Now that I've roughly placed down the eyeshadow with a wet brush, I'm just going to go in with a dry brush and kind of smudge out the edges so that it kind of has more diffused look instead of like a really cut crease kind of look. The little brush that I'll be going in with is the Nude by Nature Lip Brush and I'm just going to use it dry just to rub the edges so that they blend a little bit more seamlessly into the rest of my shadow. I want like a glittery edge so that it fades from glitter into like the actual dark matte shadows.
Now that I've kind of diffused the edges of that, I'm just going to be brightening up the centers of that again by bringing back that wet brush and dipping it back in, just pressing that into the very center of that halo, just to bring back a bit more of that light again so it's a bit more intense. I'm just packing it on to build intensity. Now with that same wet brush, I'm going to be taking the smallest amount and putting it right under my eye. I'm going to be taking this right underneath where my pupil is, right next to where this um, smoky shadow ended. So I'm just going to grab it a little bit and place it right there. Just kind of mirroring the eyeshadow that's on the top. I'm just blending that a little bit so it's a little bit more diffused so that it looks like that. It really brings lightness to the eyes and I feel like it opens the eyes back up quite a bit. Just to even out the eye, I'm going to take whatever's left on my little smudge brush and I'm just going to rub that right next to where that ended and take it right up almost to the inner corner. Just taking it a little bit so that it lines the eye, not really creating much um, of a shade or anything, just a little little bit of like a smudged shadow. Just so that we don't have the whole eye outlined by eyeshadow and like a gap because that would look kind of strange. Next I'm going to be going into my inner corner. I'm going to be using this highlight from Maybelline. It is the Master Chrome Molten Gold in the shade 100 and it's very um, golden shade. I'm going to be spraying my Nude by Nature concealer brush with a little bit of setting spray just so that it picks up the pigment a little bit better. I'm just going to lightly press that into my inner corners. You could also use the shade that you used on the actual lid in the inner corner. I didn't choose to do that only because that shade annoys me when it gets in the inner corner. It like irritates my eyes. But you can totally go for it if the shade you used here doesn't irritate your eyes. Um, I'm also using the concealer brush because I kind of want a larger inner corner for like a big circle pop of light in the middle just to bring back some light into the face. So that's why I went for the concealer brush because it gives a kind of larger inner corner. I kind of don't like the way that the eyeshadow has come into my inner corners here and made it look a little bit messy and come in onto like the bridge of my, not bridge of my nose, the sides of my nose. So I'm going to be cleaning that up with the concealer that I primed my eyes with earlier. So I'm just going to be grabbing a little bit of that concealer on the concealer brush that I was using earlier and I'll just kind of clean up that inner corner there. Next I'm just going to be highlighting my brow bone using the same concealer brush and the highlight from earlier. I really love how shiny that one looks. Next I'm going to go in with that same highlighter and go into the key parts of my face which are the cupid's bow, I'm going to do the tip of my nose, just the in between part of the bridge here and I'm just going to brush that downwards. I'm also going to be going on my cheeks, of course. I'm now going to go in with my favourite liquid liner. This is the Maybelline Hyper Sharp Wing Liner. It just looks like this. And it's got a really good brush tip, like that. Um, I'm going to be doing this off camera because you don't need to see me doing normal winged eyeliner. And the reason I'm doing this after highlight is because I feel like if I did this before and then I highlighted, I would get crumbles of my highlight on my wing, whereas I want my wing to be as crisp as possible, so I'm going to do that after my highlight. I've just applied my winged eyeliner, which I feel like does so much for every look. I don't feel like myself without winged eyeliner. I think it's very important. Um, the next thing I'm going to be going in is with lashes, because I think that this look deserves lashes because it's so intense. I'm going to be wearing these kiss lashes. They just look like this. Sorry, it's like stuck to my thumb. I've already worn these once, so they're already out of packet. I don't have the style name, but I'll probably write it in the description bar below. They're just um, a pair that go in at the middle and flare out towards the edges so that it really lifts and opens the eyes. I feel like that shape of lash looks best and is most flattering on my eye shape, so I'm just going to be applying those with some duo lash glue. These little lashes, I think they're really pretty. They're very fluttery and yeah, they're just exactly my type of lash. The last thing I'm going to be going in with is the lip, of course. I'm going to be using a couple of products from the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collection. Um, I'm going to be starting off with the shade More Creamer, please. And it just looks like this. It's a darker one of the two shades from their first collection. I'm just going to be applying it straight from the bullet on the outer areas of my mouth. And then I'm going to be going in with No Shade, which is the lighter colour. And I'll show you what it looks like. This is No Shade. It's slightly lighter. I'm going to be applying that in the centre parts. I'm going to be topping it all off with Over the Top Lip Gloss. 
and this is just the perfect gold champagne lip gloss. I'm going to be going in straight with the applicator. The reason I went for the nude lip is because I wanted all the focus to be on the beautiful eyeshadow that we did. Um, I wanted it to be very neutral and kind of like concealer lips so that you wouldn't really notice the lips too much and just focus on the eyes. Um, this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment down below. I'll be pouring out loads more content very, very soon because I have lots of quarantine time on my hands. So if you'd like some good quarantine content, please subscribe and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.